News. Controller of budget Margaret Nyakango now claims she was put under pressure to approve fictitious payments amounting to 15 billion shillings just five days to the August 9th general election last year. Appearing before the Parliamentary Public Petitions Committee, Dr. Nyakango tabled printouts of telephone conversations between her and former Treasury CS Ukuriatani, who allegedly wanted her to authorize the payments in 26 minutes. She says 10 billion shillings from those funds was to go to the Ministry of Infrastructure. Appearing before the Parliamentary Public Petitions Committee, Controller of Budget Margaret Nyakango tabled a series of text messages from conversations between her and former Treasury CS Ukuri Atani in April, July and August 2022. Conversations, she says, illustrate just how she was put under pressure to release billions of shillings to the Office of the President and the Ministry of Infrastructure. At 2.13 p.m. on the 4th of August, she claims Ukuri Atani wrote to her saying, Good afternoon. Please also facilitate similar approvals for infrastructure ministry for amounts of 8 billion and 2 billion shillings. One hour, 20 minutes later, the CS wrote, Please help us expedite this. HE might even call you if we don't deal with this by 4 p.m., he continues to say. The controller of budget responded at 3.35 p.m. Are you saying we have 26 minutes to complete the process? A minute later, Yatani tells her, He's just called and I assured him that I have spoken to you and you promised by the end of the day. I know he'll call again. Margaret Nyakango responded, telling Yatani that the timing requires up to tomorrow as I am still out of office. He responds, you need to devise how to deal with it. I'm sorry, but try. There is no hard and fast yes and no. That is what I can explain. From where I sit, I have to use a lot of discretion. And I'm also human. When I'm under threat, I have to self-preserve, like you have seen. So you cannot say that if I see this, it's a black and white yes or it is a no. There are so many things that you will weigh before then you arrive at that final decision. In a previous conversation on the 1st of April 2022 at 7.31 p.m., Yatani requested for exchequer release under Article 223 of the Constitution to the presidency of 1 billion shillings. What I am saying and which I still repeat, Chair, is that there are loopholes within this law which need to be assessed. And my office needs to be protected. The controller of budget appeared before the Parliamentary Public Petitions Committee following a petition by COFEC Secretary General Stephen Mutoro claiming that 55 billion shillings had been siphoned out of public coffers during the transition period. The question of unforeseen is, um, is really a matter of English, Honorable Chair. When we say an ex a need has arisen, what do we mean? This article is greatly abused. It is a very honorable piece of legislation. But there are people who have seen loopholes there, and they utilize those loopholes to do certain things. The revelations come just two days after Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa claimed individuals in the previous regime stole 24 billion shillings in the last days of the administration. Rita Tinina, KTN News.